Other news tonight, we're working new details on a story that was breaking on Eyewitness News Live at 5. A Providence pool that's been the center of a battle between a neighborhood and the mayor has earned a break from demolition. We've been tracking the controversy over the Davy Lopes pool all summer. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has new reaction to the deal from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Instead of demolishing the Davy Lopes pool, Council President Michael Solomon asked the mayor to create a commission to study the issues surrounding the city's public pools. Fenced off and dry, the Davy Lopes pool in Providence never opened this past summer. At the beginning of the season, the director of recreation services told Eyewitness News the pool was being closed for good due to the high costs of upkeep and the low numbers of children using it. In an effort to stop the city from filling it in with concrete and creating a water park, City Council President Michael Solomon recommended the mayor appoint a five-member commission to study Providence's public pools. Now's a good time because we're in the winter and no pools are open, so we thought this would be a good time to do this. Solomon tells us the commission would look at several issues, including swim instruction, expanding private-public partnerships, and the use of water parks as an alternative to pools. There's right now currently seven pools in the city of Providence, and they're being utilized, and we need to find ways to, to attract more children to use the pools, and I think they're an important part of the neighborhood. But fewer children from the neighborhood are using them. In June, the director of Recreation Services reported a city-operated pool should have at least 50 children using it a day, but the Davy Lopes pool was only averaging about 30. Also, it costs about $40,000 to operate each pool for seven weeks. But it's a service Solomon believes the city should invest in. We can't put a price tag on the youth of our city. The deadline for the commission to come back with a full report is April 1st of 2014. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.